Hi guys, welcome back to this series on building basics of on learning basics of Android using Kotlin. Today we will continue the series which was long pending. Sorry for that, but today we are going to see how we can test our app using the Espresso test recorder. How we can write automated test case by not writing code at all. So sounds confusing, but let us just get on with it and you will learn. So what we are trying to do is if you go to your Android Studio, open your project and uh, if you go to the run tab in the latest Android Studio, you will see this record espresso test. So this is a feature where the studio offers you to launch your app in the simulator or on the device and then it will keep recording the UI events that you are doing and it will also allow you to add assertion. Assertion meaning it will allow you to check whether a proper name or a proper text has been displayed or not and what happens when you click the button whether the new activity was launched and whether the labels have been displayed or not so it's writing ui test cases but you don't have to really write the code the studio will do it for you and it will even add the dependency is if you don't have those dependencies already in the gradle file so the app is running so i have modified this app now it has a details fragment and we are just going to write a simple test case where we launch the app, click on one of the name and check whether the details are matching or not. So let's click on run, record espresso test. So it will try to install and it will also attach the debugger because it, it wants to know what is going on in the UI. So the launch has, has succeeded. What we'll do is we'll add an assertion. What will happen here is Android will actually show you the UI in this test recorder. And you can actually choose So I can select the text and I can also write the assertion. So I can select whether it exists, does not exist or to match the exact text. So save this assertion and then I'm going to scroll and then I'm going to click on this Krista Kemp. That is the last one. And then again, I will add an assertion to test the labels in this screen, which is the second one. Now the data for all this is coming, as you know, from a network call. So we might need to add some delay in between. So I'll just choose this and so I'm testing, I'm Checking the label in the first screen, then clicking on the last item in the list and then I'm again checking details in the next screen. So let us just finish it. You can, once you click OK, it will ask you the name of the test that you want to create and what language you want. It can write code in both Java and Kotlin. I'll just choose Kotlin. And you can see if the dependencies are missing, it will also ask you whether you want to add them. So yes, and you can see that it has the test for us. So everything is here. It has also started the Gradle sync after adding the dependencies. So this is the new dependencies that were added. So you can see that it has added these two dependencies, Android test implementation. This is actually what is required for running Espresso and asserting the values and this new test file. So I know that they have not added a delay, but basically because we are making call to a network, there might be some delays. So we are just going to add a delay here. So sleep for the thread and maybe two seconds, so 2000 milliseconds. So I'm going to run this test case now. 
So you can see the test dialog has come up and it's trying to install and run the test now. If you see here, these are all the tests that will be run. So you can see, if you follow the code, we can see what it is trying to do. First, this sleeping for 2000 seconds, it will allow us to wait while the network call is made and the UI and the list recycler view are loading. And then it will check for this text, Russell White. And then once it matches, okay, it's actually doing it two times. One, because we clicked on it and once because we added the assertion. And then it's actually, clicking in the list view at the position that we gave so it's getting the recycler view and then it's performing an action on item at position so at the 19th so we know or we have 20 contacts and it's clicking at the last position and then again it is verifying whether the text view gender is showing female or not actually there is no need to do two things but yeah it is doing maybe it's not perfect but you will still get some test case which can be very easily written. So it has even written a custom function which you might have to Google a lot to find the answer to. So yeah, if you're not very proficient in writing test cases, this Espresso test recorder is very good to get you started. But if your project has Compose library, this Espresso test recorder will not work. So one thing to keep in mind. But yeah, if you just want to get started, have some sort of uh, test running for your application before you ship it every time to the market this is a very easy option in the next video we are going to see how can we can add a mock server so currently when the app is launched even in test mode it connects to the actual server which may or may not be off online at all times and there is a delay which happens so in the next video we will see how we can add a mock server and then we can just reroute this call instead of the actual server to our mock server but before that we are going to add hilt to this project and we'll see how easy it will be because we already have the mvvm model and we're just going to remove the dependencies that we've created and then move everything to hilt so see you then